welcome to the Orchid Saga. So yes, finally I'm making this video. This video is on my list for a while now. First of all, uh, Zula, did, uh, one of the subscribers, did ask me about it a few months ago. If I have casualties, orchids that are not doing so well. So yes, I have them. I have a whole collection of orchids. I think I'm uh, around 420, something like that. And uh, yes, I think... Uh, Probably all of the growers, especially the ones with quite a collection, have, uh, have a few, at least, that are not doing so well. So yes, I have them. And also Michael McCarthy uh, commented on the last video about the Miltoniopsis with the uh, orange rot. That it was a very uh, helpful video, especially uh, because it's, yeah, sometimes it's just better to film things that are not going so well and what to do about them. That's very helpful for other growers as well. So I thought I'm going today, I'm going to make a video about orchids that are not doing so well for me and what I think uh, might be a solution. So I'm starting with this one. This is uh, the, you may have recognized already, but the Christelle Smith. And even though it's in bloom, it's just not doing well for me. And I'm trying to get a tag back in. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Beautiful bloom nonetheless. And that's why I bought it, because I really like the pink and the yellow together on flowers. But it's a very small one, it's a very young plant, but I cannot keep this one, uh, I cannot keep the roots on this one. So it, every single time it's losing the roots, as you can see here, the velamen is completely gone. And they even have more black roots on this side. Let me turn it around, so you can see there, I think, yes, there they are. Those are roots from this year, and this happens all the time with this one. That's why I started using net pots, because it's, I thought it's probably a bit too cold for it, so maybe I need to uh, use a net pot that is hanging above the reservoir, so it doesn't get as cold in here. In, inside of the pot, I thought first that might be the problem for this one. But still, it's, it's losing her, her roots, and I don't know why. Still, like I said, it's blooming, but... So yeah, I keep trying to grow this one, but maybe one day I uh, will lose it. I'm not completely sure. And um, I thought, you know what, I'm going to pick up the camera and let's have a look around. Uh, if we see more casualties, well, above them, we have the Ambrasavola types. And overall, they are not really doing bad. This one is actually starting to do better. This is the uh, famous uh, Little Stars. I still have it as uh, Brasavola Little Stars. Same story, but this one seems to love the net pot better. I see a beautiful uh, color on the leaves again, and it really is starting to grow. And a uh, beautiful moss there. So that one is starting to do better. But my uh, Brasavola types are um, having a difficulty with my winters. I keep it at 18 degrees at night, but still a lot of them have um, yeah, difficulties to keeping their roots. It's probably a little bit too cold. Nonetheless, I have them blooming. This one, these are not my, my blooms. It came uh, with this uh, spike already, but yeah, the other ones I do have in bloom as well. This one I didn't yet, but I think we might. But yeah, casualty is not really thriving. Let's put it like that. <laughs> So yeah, that's something I not really can do much about it. Maybe a heat net, but I already have so many uh, electricity uh, the, uh, stuff all going on here. The heaters and the ventilators. So yeah, those take uh, a lot of uh, already. They are expensive enough, let's put it like that. So I'm not completely sure if I want to put a uh, heat uh, mat underneath those, but that may have been a solution. Then over here we have the fells. Overall, they are doing well, but this one, as you can see, is dropping quite some leaves. There's actually a dead flower from the neighbor up there. This one does it every time. Well, every well, last time, I think it was at least two years ago, maybe one year, but I think two years ago. And it has quite a stem there. I don't know if you can see it there, quite long. But it keeps on dumping the other root, uh, leaves. Quite a lot of them. It does have quite a lot of roots, so that's not a problem. So I think this one may be sick. It's just not a healthy orchid, I think. But it luckily has one leaf left and a new one is coming. 
But yeah, it's not really doing well. Like I said, it has a uh, pot full of roots. Probably you can see quite a lot of them. So that's not a problem. And the next one looks so much better and does get the same treatment. So I'm not completely sure what's wrong, but that's absolutely a casualty. <laughs> so yeah, it happens, it happens. So let's go over here in my videos on my Miltonias. I already showed a few, but I have some, well, actually like this one, I did sunburn it and it's still not happy. I did give it less light. You can see that leaf is, a, that leaf tip is not right. So yeah, and the neighbor next to it is doing very well, same treatment. So yeah, not always sure what is wrong with the plants. If it if it's really is our care, as you, these guys as well, do not very well. Some do start to look a bit better, but they still can do better overall. Let's have a look over here. These are just some young ones. They're doing fine. Fine, yeah, this one is doing better again, but that had Fusarium. So that's not really my, but I do my Fusarium treatment, so to speak, <laughs> on them. And this one seems to be uh, taking up, starting to grow again. Uh, yeah, overall, this is fine, I think. This is not really a kettle tea. Yeah, it blooms and it grows for me, but still not not pretty, not completely happy about it. So this one just needs a repot and maybe that's a solution to it. I'm not completely sure, but this is my sherry baby uh, Ruby doll. Could do better. But again, I'm not completely sure what's the problem with that one. Just whoops. There was my uh, mic almost going. <laughs> Overall doing fine, I think. Quickly checking, just a few over. Overall few, yes, you are doing fine. I have one fan now. That is this one, it's the Blue Magic. And I never had it in bloom uh, for, yeah, last three, three years. Before that, I it did bloom very often. It starts to grow again, but you can see there are some bits of the leaves missing. So I kept, kept on spraying this one and it's finally getting some roots again, luckily. But I did pot it up about two years ago in a terracotta pot with lava rock. And this one just took badly. The rest is recovering way quicker, but this one is really taking her time. But it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. So what I do with this one, I'm just leaving it because it's growing and it's growing new roots. And it's drinking, so it's doing fine. But it's really needs some needs some time. Uh, Tulumnias. Well, I have one that is just not really happy, but still it's growing. It has a new uh, growth here and there. But in the middle, you can see not completely happy. Also, same story. I'm just going to leave it because it looks like it's just need, needing some time as well. And then. Down here we have the epidendrums. Well, they are do blooming for me, but I, they should be way bigger, I believe. Well, at least those guys. This one, the orange one, and that one. This one in the back should take the ferns out. So yeah, besides the white one, that one is doing very well. The rest is, hmm, could do better, for sure. Not sure why, so I keep just treating them as I did. Did try different setups or uh, different places to uh, put them, to grow them. I thought maybe more light, but it wasn't really helping it as well. So yeah, castle tea there, <laughs> castle teas. Uh, my alacastes are doing better. I almost lost this red one over here, but it has now a beautiful new growth with leaves. I think it was my fault because I started to water them too soon, so I was losing the roots on them. But now this is the white one is really doing well and the red one is looking way better as well. So I think they are recovering, but that was my fault. I did, uh, like I said, water them too quickly and then you are losing the roots. Even though that might sound strange because like my cardecidin types, they have water roots, I keep them damp, but these one weren't adapted completely. I should add that. So I started to water them too soon. Now they should be fine because they are use the water, but in winter I will slow it down and keep them damp and that's it. 
And I think that will uh, will do. Then let's go inside of the archive room because, whoops, there we have a few more. Well, this one, sadly, that's my Zygo Lewisendorf. Well, it's doing kind of fine, you should think, with a new growth, new roots. I have it in bloom all the time, but look at that bulb next to it. This might be, I think, the Cymbidium ring spot virus. I'm not sure, so if you recognize it, please let me know, but these black spots on that bulb are not good. Not good at all. So I'm not completely sure. Well, it's growing, so I keep it there and I don't share water in case of my setup, so it should be fine. But Yeah, well, fine, In I mean uh, that it doesn't affect the other ones around them so much, but I still have some leaves. So I'm not completely sure. Maybe I should throw it away, but... <laughs> Then over here I have Miltoniopsis, that's just not doing fine. I think I'm going to lose this one and it has a big fern in there, but inside there, I'm zooming in slowly, we have a new growth, but look at that. It's just starting to rot. Just, uh, let me see if I can point it out. Yeah, we have some brown roots, uh, sorry, leaves. So I'm losing this one, I'm going to throw it away. I tried and I tried and I tried. But it doesn't do so well as the others do. <laughs> so yes, it happens. Let me quickly check. The AEDs are kind of okay. Well, this one is my Dendrophyllum Magnum for spikes. It's beautiful. But yeah, they are not all thriving. Then over here, well, this is my yellow Nelly Eiler. It's doing okay. It's making a spike. So it's not really a case of the i think but it could do better it's adapting incredibly slow but that's because it's growing very slow so i think it's fine in the end it will be fine but yeah it really needs her time um let me quickly check if i have yes i have these two guys psychopsis this is the alba the yellow one and this is the butterfly even though it has spikes it has five spikes it's a new one it's not really, really doing well. I'm losing some, that's all the bulbs I know, but still, could do better. And the yellow one I almost lost. It has one leaf that's still browning, the uh, dying off. These two sh do seem fine. I have a new growth and I saw a new root in the pot, but I'm leaving it for, uh, because I'm, I'm afraid to break that root. And they are very, very slowly recovering. So I think they are fine. But what happened with these two guys was that Two years ago I had them in a greenhouse and it was very warm, we had a sort of heat wave. And then at that moment, or after that, they started to go uh, downhill fairly quickly. So I think it was a bit too warm. So what I did was putting them in here in the orchid room, giving them enough light but cooler temperatures. That should be fine, should be fine. And I think I did forget to mention it, but the Nelly Isla, I'm just leaving it. So that's my... Uh, treatment for that one and same goes for these two guys i hope they make it because they are beautiful plants anyhow these were sort of a uh, casualty as, as well but i did a uh, clean up and a reorganization over here <laughs> uh, with the lights etc giving my plants more lights so that's a video for a few weeks back if you don't forget i will link it so i change it so the plants are doing okay, but that was my fault. I, I just kept them a little bit too dark. And these, I think, are doing fine as well. These are okay. Paths are doing fine. Not sure if there are any casualties. We do have this Ambidium here. It does make a spike again. I, I did uh, lost this root system, so I did uh, repot it. It's now starting to make new roots and obviously starting to bloom again. It missed blooming on the previous bulb and that was also a light situation. So I put it into more light, freshen uh, the media up, the pot up, and now it seems to do uh, pretty fine again. And then in the back I have one that is also making a spike. Let me zoom in over there. That's my Oncidium purpurata alba, beautiful one. But that had fusarium. So I did cut off all the infected parts, like I usually do. And 
yeah, I just set it there and just see what it would do. But I see new roots on the sides of the pot and a flower spike, so I'm leaving it uh, to bloom. But actually, I see not a no, it's not a flower spike. So, yeah, not the most prettiest leaves, so not completely sure if it is healthy again, but I'm just leaving it there and we shall see <laughs> what uh, she will uh, decide to do. My jewel orchards do look way better. I should link that video as well where we did the repot. They really look awful, did look awful. But look at them. I, I gave them too much light, <laughs> funny enough. So some of these did get too less, did, these guys did get too much. So put them here, no direct sunlight whatsoever, not even filtered. And for me, that's probably the trick because they're really starting to grow again. These are two are very, very large, different pieces in a pot. Orig originally it was one plant. So for me, they are still one plant, but I must say that they're not really are anymore. But anyhow, they look uh, beautiful, I think. So yeah, let me quickly check. I think that is the most casualties that I have going on uh, at this moment. While I'm zooming in on this beautiful red velvet Nelly Eiler. It's so beautiful. There's a little bit of sunlight on there. I'm not sure what my camera is making on my screen. It looks awful, the color. I'm, I apologize. I'm not completely sure. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. Anyhow. So yeah, casualties, you guys. It's, it's just, it happens. Some are my fault. Some, some things I didn't do right. Some things I'm just, by some plants, I'm not completely sure what is the problem. Uh, and some plants are just sick, so you can do whatever you want, but they are sick and they are not uh, not really made for this world. And uh, yeah, they, you will probably will lose them in the end. But uh, yeah, so I definitely have them. I definitely have them. And uh, I hope this video is uh, useful. If you saw anything and you may have a solution, please uh, let me know in the comment section below or questions. Uh, or updates on specific orchids that you like, please let me know. And uh, or requests like this video, it's just, it was a, a, a kind of a request. So um, I'm really happy to make those uh, videos. Let's put it like that. Just to let you know, keep on trying, keep on growing them. And yes, some will die, some will look awful, but some are going to be very pretty like these guys, these Nelly Eilers. Beautiful. So thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye bye.